Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading, and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. I just wanted to start off to say that um, if you're looking for <clears throat> a gift for the holidays, I have my Etsy shop, and I made this mug, my happy mug. If you want to check that out, or I made Jill's Capricorn Tarot, and I have other Capricorn mugs too, and t-shirts. If you're interested in any of those, just check out my Etsy shop down below. And thank you for that. And also, if you'd like to check out the girls' channel, Facebook channel, there is a link down below. Okay. So what do you got going on for Capricorn? Look at that, struggling with. We have Eight of Cups. Struggling with or in the past. Eight of Cups. Page of Cups. Two of Wands, what you need to look at Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Temperance, which can also be Sagittarius, Future Energies, we have Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, and the King of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. Three of Swords. Three of Swords wants to come out lately for Capricorn, but I almost feel like it's that process of working through the Three of Swords, the process of acknowledging the Three of Swords and working through it. So over here with what you may be struggling with is walking away from something, leaving something behind, but you're still feeling emotionally attached to it that you had wanted to go off in a different direction, but you were kind of, it's almost like right before you went to make that choice that you got pulled back in with something, okay? Um, and I just feel like you were struggling with, I know I need to move away from this, I know I need to move on from this, but I'm just not sure where I want to go. What you need to look at, I feel, is what is the choice that is best for you? Sometimes we get so caught up in overthinking, we get so caught up in um, everything else, how other, other people feel, but I feel like what is the relationship that works best for you? What is the relationship that you want to work on? What is the relationship that you want to have that you feel is more balanced? And I feel like it's looking and finding that relationship that is more of a partnership because we have the two of cups here where both people are looking at each other and then we have temperance where there's the fire and the water but it's that balance temperance is balance and compromise and right here in the in the middle is the four of pentacles and i feel like that represents you what works best for you future energies we have the nine of wands hang in there right hang in there having faith and believing being patient and making the choice that is best for you I feel like maybe you're feeling like you're feeling rushed and that you need to make a decision about something before you're really ready to it, before you're, you're over this three of swords. Sometimes we feel that if we end something, we want to get right back into something, but I feel that you need more time to heal from this three of swords before you get into something because then you'll have more clarity in making a choice with this future energy here. The King of Pentacles is somebody who is patient, somebody who takes his time, somebody who analyzes and looks at things and sees what the results would be because he's very good in business, right? And to be good in business, you have to look at all aspects of what's going on. And you have to make the move when you feel it's the right move for you, when the timing is right. And I feel like that's kind of what you're this future energy is hang in there and wait for that <clears throat> relationship or that situation where you feel that it's more comfortable, that it's the right one instead of just getting into something. All right, so let's take a little closer look at this Eight of Cups. This, what you wanted, to, you feel like you want to walk away from, but you, you, 
it's almost like you're stuck. Right before you make the move, you're feeling stuck. We have Ten of Swords, we have Ten of Wands, and we have a King of Wands. So I feel like it's, there's a process that you have to go through before you can make that decision, right? Because you're carrying these Ten of Swords on your back. You're carrying these Ten of Wands on your back. There's a lot of burdens. There's a lot of heaviness. Sometimes we feel this obligation in relationships or situations. And we're like, well, I can't leave because this, 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 and this. And I feel like it's looking back over the history about how you've given up so much of yourself for this situation or this relationship. Whatever this represents for you, which goes back to the Three of Swords, is that I feel like you're looking back over that and you're realizing I've given up so much of myself. I've given up so many things that I've wanted to do and that you've carried this heavy burden for a long time and I feel like it's almost like looking back over that how you've sacrificed yourself for this situation and that it's time for you to make choices for you right it's time for six of swords six of wands queen of pentacles and the king of swords I feel like it's time for you it's time for you to make the choices that are best for you I'm not saying that you know that's what you have to do but I feel like you have to do whatever you feel is right for you but in this reading I feel like it's a person who has looked over the past wants to make a change wants to go on a new path wants to go in a new direction but feels this obligation to this situation or this relationship but you feel that you've given up enough and now you're looking at okay what's going to work best for me because I've always given so much to other people and rising above and focusing on yourself, right? Focusing on you and what you want to go after and what you want to do and what is your success. There's also that balance, right? That compromise that if you still have to be involved in this, but where, how can you turn that around to where it's focusing more on you? Because I feel like you've given a lot to other people. Look at this. Future energies. We have the Ace of Cups, which is that cup is overflowing with emotions and feelings and happiness but we also have the moon at the top which represents it's going to take some time to see this and patience and some working through this um, we have the eight of wands and then we have the empress so it's that growth right it's that evolving it's that change it's it's wanting something different for you i feel like one more six of cups i feel like it's almost like you're you're getting back to the way you were or it's pursuing something that you've wanted to pursue it almost I'm almost thinking also that there might be somebody that's coming back into your life that you've kind of gotten away from but it's reconnecting with that queen of cups I feel that you have a lot of emotions going on you have a lot of ups and downs because you've got this commitment and this obligation over here but yet you want to work um, on yourself and there's that back and forth and you're not really sure and then I also feel that there may be somebody that's coming in that um, you may reconnect with or it's getting back in touch with a dream or a direction um, or those feelings of how you used to ha have when you were younger. That's what really, you know, it, it's about is like kind of working through these obstacles that are put in our way and sometimes we just kind of follow this path blindly but now sometimes we have those moments where we're like okay I want to change direction I want something different I want something to focus more on me um, and sometimes it's hard to make that switch because we've already gotten so caught up in this that it's hard to switch gears right because you're like well I've already been on this path for so long that how can I get away from that but it's all in that King of Swords is analyzing and looking at things and building up that confidence and that strength. I feel like there's somebody that you want to reach out to, that you want to connect with to tell them about what's going on and that there's a new solution. There's a solution that you've come up with. There's a solution that you've decided. There's a direction that you, you're thinking that you feel that is going to work best for you, right, and them and that situation. Um, it's something that you have to fight for. Sometimes we get challenged in life and it's like, how badly do you want something? And I feel like this is something that you have to fight for and that you really have to go after. This also could cause some friction between you and this situation over here. But sometimes 
we're just tested to see how badly that we want something if we want to keep moving and we want to keep going. I feel like it's something that you've been dreaming about, something that you've been thinking about, something that you've been wanting to have happen. Because with this card here, he's laying there and he's resting, but he has this night up here that he's dreaming these big dreams and these goals that he's wanted. And we have the Ten of Wands again over here, which it was over here where you you were feeling that burden, but I feel over here you're like, I finally made it, right? Because the building's right here and he's finally collapsed and he's like, okay, I'm finally at my destination. We have the Death card, which is that, you know, you kind of realize that, hey, I was holding on to something from the past, but now I'm ready to change. I'm ready to transform. I'm ready for something different. I'm just taking it one day at a time, which I also love this card because he's putting the pentacle in the jar one day at a time. It's not getting overwhelmed by the big picture, right? But it's breaking it down to more palatable pieces to where you can make these little moves or these little adjustments at a rate that you feel comfortable with, right? That you feel that you can handle, that you can deal with. Sometimes, you know, it's like, well, it's kind of like ripping off the band-aid. Do you rip it all off in one one like quickly or do you just kind of peel it off um, and I feel like in this situation it's kind of peeling it off as to where you feel comfortable right a little bit and then you feel comfortable and then it's a little bit more because it has to be at a rate that you feel comfortable with because if you feel too overwhelmed then you're going to go back to this situation over here bottom of the deck we have the nine of pentacles which I do feel that's been coming out a lot for Capricorn also which is those rewards for that pursuit and going after what is important to you and what makes you happy um, that fulfillment but it's working through this right erasing that three of swords getting past it or it's not so prevalent in the mind all right so let me see. Let's grab. Let's see. Angel answers. Opportunity. This is an opportunity for you to work through this Three of Swords. Um, I also feel like there's other opportunities that are coming in for you, right? There's opportunities that are happening. This one kind of was popping up, popping out too, and we have trust. You have to trust, right, yourself that you're making the right decisions for you. You have to trust that things will work out. You have to trust and have that confidence that even if there are some bumps in the roads, that you're still going to be able to handle it because you have that feeling of this is the right direction for me these are the right choices for me this is this is what i want i'm confident in what it is that i'm doing right i feel like with these two four of pentacles is that that confidence in yourself that these are the best choices for you um, and that's what you have to believe and that's the energy that you have to embrace when you start to have those doubts but i feel like by looking back over the past that you see that you've given so much of yourself to this other person or situation and that <clears throat> you're finding that now is the time for you. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.